Okay, so I'm gonna do a little video about this. This is a another spice grinder. It's very different from the little tiny one I've got. Um, it's got a little port here to dump spices out, I suppose. So we're gonna take this little red pepper here and we're gonna try not to make a horrible mess as we fold it up. And I grew these in my garden a couple years ago and I still have a whole bunch of them left because that was like the most productive thing. And then it just kind of smush, smush, smush. Get in there, Pepper. I probably shouldn't have put the whole thing in there at once, but you get it in there. There we go. Now we got the lid on. And you just sort of twist this. And you can look through these little windows, if I can get the camera to show it, maybe not. Helped if I actually pointed at the camera, there we go. And you can see the pepper coming in. So, yeah, it's kind of a nice little setup. It's got a lot more room in it than the other one, which I like, because that means, you know, you can actually store some stuff in there, get some stuff in there. It doesn't push everything through. Some of these bits are just going to kind of stick up here, but they're still ground up pretty good. These little diamondy bits rub together and grind it up. It's got this little port here that opens that allows you to easily empty it into like a spice jar. And then I'm going to take this little bottom piece off really quick. Here's a little mesh thing that you can push it through to get powder, which you can see a little bit of fell through here, and then there's a little scrapey thing. <coughs> I just inhaled some pepper, so. Yeah, all in all, it's a pretty nice little device. It's small, compact, easy to store, easy to use. It's great for if you're just doing a little bit of grinding for your own personal use. I wouldn't recommend it if you're trying to do anything on a larger scale, though.